Today is Pavnami, in the morning you get up and you be in a certain way, you create a certain quality in you so that by evening that quality is enhanced. You should know that if someone is uh, mentally disturbed on a full moon day, on a new moon day, they get little more disturbed than usual. You're aware of this? So it is not that moon instigates madness, it is just that when the moon takes certain positions, it heightens whatever you are. If you are loving, you become more loving. If you are joyful, you become more joyful. If you are blissful, you become much more blissful. If you are little insane, you become much more insane. If you are meditative, you become far more meditative. It just enhances everything that you are. So we consider these days important so that you consciously create the right kind of quality in you so that it gets enhanced. Today is Pavnami, in the morning you get up and you be in a certain way, you create a certain quality in you so that by evening that quality is enhanced. So whatever the qualities that you are, so that you start engineering it more consciously than being a victim of unconscious eruptions within yourself. So the moon is not… does not make you mad or meditative, it just enhances whatever you are. You know even the ocean goes mad, if you are a swimmer on the beach, it's madness for you. But if you are a skipper of a large vessel, it is a boon for you <laughs> But something is happening. The very ocean is trying to rise. When the very ocean is trying to rise, the, situa the situation may be conducive for you also to rise probably, if you are willing to make use of it. And moon's influence on human life is far more than that. To do anything with yourself, to be aware where the moon is could be useful because it creates different types of qualities and energies in the system. If one is aware, he could make use of it. If I ask you to close your eyes and do something very simple, you sit here and calculate, okay, if I do this, what will I get, what will happen, this, 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 nothing will ever happen to you. If anything beautiful has to touch you in your life, if meditation has to touch you, if love has to touch you, if bliss has to touch you, you must be illogical. Everything is logically correct, but you have a long face because everything is correct with you <laughs> So in yoga, we look at you as two aspects, the sun and the moon. You have seen the symbolism? You have heard of the word hatha? Hatha yoga, hatha means ha, means sun, tha means moon. So these are the two dimensions. The various symbolisms for this, you have seen Shiva being represented as half man, half woman, all these things to suggest there is a logical dimension to you and there's a dimension beyond that. If you do not explore both, you will be an incomplete human being or you will be only half alive. So when we say a spiritual process or yoga or whatever, what we're looking at is how to become a full-fledged life process, not a half-life process. Just the body is alive, that's not good enough. Everything in, in you should be a flame. Only then you will see whether something is happening or nothing is happening, it's worth being here. If you sit here, it's worth being here. If you open your eyes, it's worth being here. If you close your eyes, it's worth being here. Otherwise, whatever is happening, it's not worth being here simply because only a part of you is alive, the other part is… is yet to come alive. So the moon, today being a full moon, the clouds are hiding it but don't worry. Whether you can see it or not, the influence of the moon is very much there. Because on a no moon day or a new moon day, the influence of the moon is far more 
then on the full moon day. So whether you perceive something or do not perceive something is not the issue, the influence is anyway there. There is a logical element to you which helps you to handle the material well. There is a dimension beyond logic, without it the subjective dimensions can never be accessed. The moon is a symbolic representation of that dimension. 